Hello everybody and welcome to Letterboxd Book Club. My name is Claire. And I'm Mackenzie. And welcome to our first week of Fanfic February. Woohoo! We are very excited about this brand new segment. <laughs> Just a fun little idea. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Why not? <laughs> yeah. So for the rest of the month, uh, we will be reading some infamous fan fictions turned into novels slash also regular fan fictions uh-huh. from various, I don't know, what would you say? Fandoms? Fandoms. Yep, yeah. Yep. So Some also turn into movies. Yeah, yeah, or even just turned into proper books. Uh-huh. So keep an ear out for that. Got an excellent lineup. Should we just reveal the lineup? I don't yeah. know. We've been talking about it the past yeah. January anyway. Okay. All right, so this week we will be discussing After by Anna Todd. <laughs> Controversial one, some would say. <laughs> uh, and then next week will be A Court of Mist and Fury, Reese's Point of View. I've already forgotten the username. Illyrian Tremors. Illyrian, Tre- Illyrian Tremors. There we go. A very popular fanfic amongst the Akatar fandom. Yep. The week after that will be Manacled, which is the... Uh, By Sen Lin Yu. Ooh, love that. Which is a uh, Hermione and Draco. Hermione, if you Hermione. will. Yeah, like, I always have trouble saying it, but... <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, we've got an excellent little lineup for yep. the next month, so... Uh-huh. Hope you, hopefully you enjoy it. We are also recording this way out of whack and out of order. So we have already recorded our Resands point of view episode. Yeah. So yeah. I might reference that, but it should line up now. But anyway. So. Yeah, it should. Yeah. yeah. The continuity of it all is just yeah yes. a little bit out of whack, yes. but we keep chopping and changing our minds and adjusting yes. and that's just our own fault. And, and I, <laughs> I, sh- I should be more proactive in re going back and re-editing, taking stuff out, yeah. but like, I just can't be voting also, although we are discussing after in this podcast, I would also like to just discuss fanfic as a whole. Yeah, okay. Just is it fair? Is it fair coming from people who don't really indulge in fanfic that often? Hey, I indulge in fanfic. I, know, I don't I, know what you do in your I, spare time. But... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenzie, can we be the voice of reason here? Mm-hmm. But no, I, I, as I'll, I'll keep saying, like. I respect fanfic writers because yes. they're doing a service and once, I don't know, or any form of media becomes, you know, a part of the public thoughts, like it can become yours to utilise and you can write about just so long as you don't infringe on copyright and all that stuff. I will start us off with the blurb of After and then I will, and then we will reveal what this fanfic is about because I'm sure there are people out there that don't uh, know how it started its origin story. Oh no, the law, the yeah. deep law, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, and then I'll also reveal the second movie that's being made based on a fan fiction around this person as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. that one. With okay. Nicholas Galatine. Yeah. Tessa is a good girl with a sweet, reliable boyfriend back home. She's got direction, ambition and a mother who's intent on keeping her that way. But she's barely moved into her freshman dorm when she runs into Harden. With his tussled brown hair, cocky British accent, tattoos and lip ring, Harden is cute and different from what she's used to. But he's also rude, to the point of cruelty even. For all his attitude, Tessa should hate Harden, and she does, until she finds herself alone with him in his room. Something about his dark mood grabs her, and when they kiss, it ignites within her a passion she's never known before. He'll call her beautiful, then insist he isn't the one for her, and disappear again and again. Despite the reckless way he treats her, Tessa is compelled to dig deeper and find the real Harden beneath all his lies. He pushes her away again and again, yet every time she pushes back, he only pulls her in deeper. Tessa already has the perfect boyfriend, so why is she trying so hard to overcome her own hurt, pride, and Harden's prejudice about nice girls like her? Ha, huh, that's a funny play on pride and prejudice, anyway. <laughs> Unless, could this be love? The rest, okay, so now newly revised and expanded, Anna Todd's after fanfiction racked up 1 billion reads online and captivated readers across the globe. Experience the internet's most talked about book for yourself. There was the time before Tessa met Harden, and then there's everything after. Life will never be the same. All right, quick question to you. Have you ever considered being in one of those government commercials where it's like brought to you by Australian government camera with the with, oh, yeah. with the way you Yeah, maybe, <laughs> but like, I don't feel like I have great pronunciation, like, oh, okay. en- not pronunciation, enunciation of words yeah. because I talk so fast. I think they blend into each other. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes when I listen back to our podcast, it sounds like I have a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> Me too sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. So it's fine. But yeah, brought to you by the Australian government. <laughs> Authorised by... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Authorised by Little Boss for Club. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, because I'm going to be talking about fan fiction, etc. And we are on a time crunch today. This first part may be in my natural speed. <laughs> so okay. feel free to slow it down. <laughs> okay. So let's reveal, for those of you who do not know, after the book and now the movies series, there's five of each, which is insane. I, I don't understand and how. And they're all as bad as each other. Actually, the last one is pretty good. But anyway, it was written 
about One Direction and Harden is meant to be Harry. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, And when the fan fiction was on Wattpad, it was Harry, Zane, Liam, Niall. Louis. Louis. Knew there was another one. (laughs) Um, They always forget Louis. And then Tessa's name was just YN. So it was your name. Self-insert. Yeah, self-insert. So the controversy around this is also mainly that Harry Styles was still a minor when this was written. Okay, yeah, understood. And Anna Todd was an adult, I'm pretty sure. Oh, or I like even... a like young adult. Right. Um writing it about Harry Styles. So I might need to fact check that. But still you are still writing about a minor in a very sexualized um manner and also completely taking their personality and turning it into something different. Yes. <laughs> their perceived personality. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so here is my spiel about fan fiction. Go for it. Okay, fan fiction that stems from real life people is icky and gross. <laughs> agreed, agreed. <laughs> yes, because especially if they're minors, but let's just push that away for a second. Even if they are an adult, I couldn't imagine someone taking me, for example, and writing a book about me without A, consulting me, mm-hmm. or B, they completely switch my personality around or whatever, or then they uh, write explicitly sexual <laughs> yeah, yeah. scenes about me as well. Icky. I think there is a fine line, and people we know who are attempting to write a book will find this as well. I think there is a fine line between using just someone's name and then changing their personality completely. I think that's fine. Because it's it's a name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A rose by any other name would smell sweet. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Just popping off today. <laughs> or using based on and then adopting some of their same personality traits but not uh, morphing it into this completely different person. Yeah. Um, however, yeah, if you say, hey, this book is based – well, this character is based on you, Mackenzie, and I've done this, this, and this about them because – that's what I perceive you as, or like, mm. that's what I want you to be. I think that's icky and gross. <laughs> yeah. And especially like going off of like an example for you, like you'd hate for someone to write a fanfic about you mm. and like, oh, you went to culinary school and stuff like that because that's your personality and mm. your individual mm. life. And like, you don't want that yeah. into integrated into such yeah. Yeah, a story. Yeah. However, on the other side of that fan fiction based on fictional characters, I think is okay. Because they are fictional, obviously they are fake. I think this is a huge generalisation, but from fan fiction that I've read and that I've come across, I think there is a lot of artistic liberty taken (laughs) in characters. And I think a lot of people are getting out their sexual fantasies and kinks, which is fine and it is in a safe manner with these fictional characters. I think, again, there is a line that needs to be kind of drawn like yeah, surrounding like, this. But, I mean, when you have Akatar or Crescent City or any, like, romantic book, I know that there's some Zayden um, fan fictions now as well. When characters are kind of inherently sexual as well, then, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But when you end up in, um, like, trigger warning territory... Yeah. Yeah. It's entering, like, would you say taboo? Yeah, I think taboo. And, I, and that's a big fan fiction genre as well it's like yeah. taboo and that's also just like a huge fiction genre now as well and i know like omega verse is huge with that as well <laughs> i know and i know it's the whole concept has been spiraling spiraling around tiktok as well because people just want to understand what it means where it yeah. stems from yeah. etc and yeah. i know that's you pick a fandom and there's like a huge omega verse mm. around it yeah. i'm sure there's some for harry potter as well yeah and yeah yeah everywhere and I'll also talk about this as well in Manacled, but again, surrounding minors, even if they are fictional characters, that's gross. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know, I don't think I've come across any fan fiction where they are still minors. I think people age them up. Yeah. Or especially in the Harry Potter universe, they send them back to Hogwarts after the war so that they can finish, but they're all adults and it's like a bonus, like eighth year or whatever. Mm. But even then, I don't know, because everything we know about these characters stems from them being adolescents and then going through that journey. Yeah. So 
yeah i don't things like it, that it can be hard to especially if that's like the real drawing point yeah for the story yeah but yeah. also fuck jk rowling so do what you want <laughs> <laughs> god damn yeah um yeah i agree with everything i always forget that there is that morality with writing like the minor aspects because that never really comes to mind because I, yeah i never realized that that was such a big issue as well um okay and then on the other side of this all is that yeah sometimes you know um you'll get picked up to get your fan fiction turned into a novel mm-hmm. uh, after love on the brain um love hypothesis love hypothesis actually yeah sorry love hypothesis not love on the brain love hypothesis first uh 50 shades of gray 50 shades of gray (laughs) although like i could never see the connection between 50 shades of gray and twilight or maybe i'm just not that deep into twilight to recognize anything because i feel like that's a completely separate yeah as much as it is stem from fanfic to if any of our listeners anyone anywhere has a copy of the og what 50 shades of gray started with I would love to be able to see that because when these fan fictions become books, it seems like the internet just gets scrubbed. Yeah, because we the OG. though we didn't try very hard to find the OG after, but on the Wattpad it was yeah polished and primed yeah. f- to then be I guess easily copied. Yeah, but for I an, read a, for a book after like when it came out when it was published. Yeah, so you would think they would still kind of have some remnants. Remnants, yeah, of the OG. Alas, someone has it on their old dusty Mac or something. Yeah. Like, it's there. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty sure yeah. you could, like, AO3, you could download it once yeah. it's done. But I think now, yeah, all copies have just been changed because I'm just going to fact check myself before I say this on here. Kinsey does want to get us cancelled. Yeah. I mean, we managed to find the Love Hypothesis OG. Mm. But yeah, with the after one in particular, yeah, we didn't try too hard. I think with fan fiction as well, there is an intention there that the, I don't know, inspiration from of the characters, they're not intended to see it as well. And that's why it's probably such an open and safe space. Because yeah. I think people really try and protect fandom culture from the idol or idols that created the fandom, mm-hmm. I guess, inadvertently in the first place. Yeah. So also there was a big rumor that Harry Styles has a restraining order against Anna Todd. Oh, that. Yeah. That, okay. But he doesn't. Apparently, he's aware of it all. Okay. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't want to go into that. Also, in the final film, which is a masterpiece um, compared to the other ones, um, there is a scene where Harden is writing a book about his experience or whatever, and someone goes, Don't "Tell me." And he is getting turned into a movie. Oh my god! And someone goes, "Harry Styles should play you." Fucking hell. Yeah, and it's like, who green- greenlit that line? I mean, like, it's funny because it's, funny, it's, self-aware, it's deep into yeah, context yeah. and more years yeah, of, yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ. But still, okay. Now, that is funny, that is funny yeah. though. Okay, so back to when they get published into books. Okay, so on the other side of that, there is this huge, huge community now of uh, people who bind books or bind okay, yep. fan fictions. And we came across a TikTok and I'm going to credit the creator. Yeah, because yeah, bookbinding has become I, such a popular thing yeah. for people to do and a hobby for people to create because they want their fan fictions in like book form. And if publishers won't traditionally publish them, yeah. or if the author cannot uh, yeah. publish them, self publish in any way, yeah. then yeah, people put, take it upon themselves. Yeah. So we came across this creator, Ellie Hua, which I'm probably saying wrong anyway. And I never thought of this. So, f- like, for birthdays and Christmas, like I really wanted a bound copy of Manicold because mm-hmm. they look gorgeous. And I didn't get it. I just downloaded it from AO3, put it on my Kindle, swish wash. Um, <laughs> swish swash. Um, and it didn't even occur to me that a lot of it's usually on Etsy that these bound copies are found, except um, et cetera, that it is illegal, one, to reproduce fan fiction like that. And to, to sell it because they are getting monetary gain off of something that's not their creation. Yeah, the IP, probably. Yeah. 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 So And because nothing of that money goes back to Senlin Yu. Yeah. Who wrote it. So... Oh. Yeah. So the cr- creator was saying as well, like, if you're going... Oh, jeez. If you're going to get it, then download it directly from her AO3, which I did. But they're like, she's the TikTok creator was saying, please do not buy these copies off Etsy because it's copyright, essentially. Because they've stolen her work and they're getting monetary gain. How funny the snowball of that. Because one, all the characters are inherently J.K. Rowling's. Mm. And then 
the creator then took it, put her own yeah. spit on it, whatever. But now everyone's getting mad that they're taking her work and that they're profiting off her. But then is she not? Even though she's not, I suppose in a way she's not even selling manacle. Yeah, no, she's so, not free. Yeah. So, so I yeah. think that's oh, that's fine. tricky. I think, yeah, because it's free. Yeah. Then that's fine. There's no like infringements or anything there. But because then people are then taking it. Yeah. Binding it, selling it for a profit. Yeah, yeah. But wouldn't that? Yeah, but wouldn't that also be like a copyright thing for? A, dare I say J.K. Rowling as well? I would, like, yeah, I would but everyone's looking at it from the OG creator point of view. Yeah, yeah. like it's not their IP property yeah. at all. But it's funny how they get in the backup. It's yeah. like you can't do it because it hurts that author. Yeah, but. and so a lot of the comments were like, "Oh, this is why I learned how to bound books myself so that I can do it myself." Like blah blah. I just have it, and then yeah, it didn't even occur to me because there's so many things like special copies of like Akata and Throne of Glass and stuff. And I was like, well, is this allowed? But I know that some of them, like the people who do the page overlays, yep. they're licensed Yeah, yeah. SJM now. Yeah. So they're allowed to do that. Yeah. Apparently it's quite easy to just uh, like open like a store and sell mm. fandom merchandise mm. and stuff and be like, hi, can we just have a license, yeah, yeah. A license to do this? And then yeah. obviously in this example, Sarah J Mass would then mm. get a bit of a bonus or a royalty from it. Mm. Yeah. So if you're going to read fanfic, go for your life. Just either print out your own physical copy or get a Kindle, send it to your Kindle, or yeah. just read it on your phone. Or just download know. it from AO3. Yeah. Like... Don't support uh, drop shipping Etsy creators. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Damn. Etsy has become a dark, dark place these days. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the hoo ha with the last things we've bought from Etsy. Oh, yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> it's gone downhill. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about after. <laughs> All right, thoughts, feelings, and emotions, yeah. Kenzie. Um, I read this book a long time ago. I reread it. I was a huge fan of the movies before I my frontal lobe developed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is um, Kids Bop, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> Kids Bop. <laughs> PG, Fifty Shades of Grey, if you will. Um, it romanticizes abusive relationships, and we all know how I feel about <laughs> abusive relationships, um, how everyone should feel about abusive relationships. It is a good read if you're looking for a cautionary tale, I guess. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, don't go to college if you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. No. <laughs> wow. Yeah, my thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Um, this book is perfect to be thrown into a fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is your right. <laughs> <laughs> that is my right. Uh, there is no substance. There's no depth. Um, I understand. Perfect for vegans. <laughs> there's no steaks. I understand looking at it from a fanfic point of view, why it's so appealing and attractive. Because if we're going back to the OG, stripping it back to the OG Harry Styles yep. aspect and self insert your name, mm-hmm. you want to be the one to fix Harry Styles. <laughs> you know, you want yeah. the you want to have the yeah. arguments yeah. that mean nothing, yeah. and you want to save him yeah. and from his trauma I'm gonna call myself out really bad but continue (laughs) is it you were imagining Harry when you were reading it no no, 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 I did at some point (laughs) like I couldn't help it at some point you can't help it because like yeah you know what it is but then because I've seen the movie I can I can associate what Harley's like meant to look like yeah Yeah. anyway yeah I hated it I finished it over the week also his name is Harden Scott so he still has HS (sighs) as his um, initials yeah you should have changed it (laughs) yeah yeah why is it too similar yeah yeah, I hated it. I finished it over the weekend, and other than the bet aspect, like I cannot tell you what happens in this book. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I don't. Know. I know there's like just a lot of repetitive parties and arguments and yeah. crying. Yeah. And yeah, I hated that. Um, the books are better than the movies, <laughs> which is saying a lot. But <laughs> you know, okay, I don't know if this happened. Okay, first of all calling myself out because I said I was going to before my frontal lobe developed <laughs> I, like I had a bad boy that I was obsessed with and I thought I could fix him everyone likes that archetype yeah exactly yeah. so it's fine so I yeah. get it but, and like if it's but I was 16 not an adult in college yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah and you're not up against Harry Styles who you want yeah, him exactly. to love you and yeah, you to exactly. love him but he did um oh, okay wait I don't know who listens to this <laughs> just say, just do it he's a musician Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anna Todd, though, I respect the hustle. Get your bag, girl. Oh, if yeah, you yeah. got the pull these suckers in. Yeah, yeah. And suckers meaning us as well now. <laughs> um, good for you. And I to mean, have I... five books into movies as well yeah. afterwards. I obtained a copy without an exchange of money. Okay. So <laughs> you exchanged in other ways, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yep. Okay. I see what you did. Yeah. Okay. 
This was written in 2013, right? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 2013. Yeah. I think so. I, I think I said 2023 last yeah. time. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Also, so in the books, Zane is Zade. Zed. Zed. <laughs> Zed. <laughs> Where my mind is. <laughs> is Zed. Anyway. <laughs> and in the books, he pla- he is um the guy at the party. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you know who he is. Okay, cool. Um, in the movie. Oh, wait, have you seen the movie? I haven't seen the movie. Oh my god, you need to see the movie. Okay, so in the movies, he's like kind of in the first, kind of in the second, but then he's just like non-existent for the rest okay. of them. Okay. Is that not an allegory for Zayn Malik in general? <laughs> but in the books, he plays such an important role to the point that it's almost like a love triangle because oh. he's like in love with Tessa as well. Well, oh. in love with your name. And so you could have picked him, but you're like, no, I love Harden. Damn. You as in your name, this not is a... you specifically. But... <laughs> <laughs> so I was rooting for him, and then he they just it just wiped him. <laughs> just and it's just it's just a Harry girly through yeah. and through. <laughs> God yeah. damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean like Zane Zed up and left. <laughs> yeah. I how do we how do we go about this? Okay, do you have a movie because I have a couple of these movies where I watched it like when I was younger or whatever, and you can watch it you watch it again and again and again, and then maybe they go for like an hour and a half, but it doesn't feel like any time has passed when you watch it and it doesn't feel like anything has happened uh because those are these movies and these books and it, each single movie is the exact same thing tessa and harden in apart from the first one apart from after in love at the start then yeah. they have a big fight then they're away from each other for a little bit and then they get back together and then they have a fight and then it's just repetitive yeah repetitive the whole is that cycle. just not every soap opera so then, yes, I've watched soap operas yeah. that have ridiculous <laughs> yeah. fights and arguments yeah. and emotional turmoil yeah. that doesn't exist. Um, I will spoil the whole thing for you later That's okay. anyway, because okay. it's a fantastic arc. <laughs> In terms of storytelling, like, let's fit every single traumatic thing we can into this series. Because you want to fix Harry Styles. <laughs> you need to fix Harry Styles. Or you want Harry Styles to fix you in the end. <sighs> Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> sure. And you change him. Um, okay, cool. So let's talk about... I have a quick qualm, though. Wibbly wobbly. Before <laughs> we get <laughs> dig right into it, I just, I've been meaning to say, because I partially listened to the audiobook on Spotify. Oh. and on Spotify? <laughs> yeah, oh. unfortunately. <laughs> it's going to be on my re- listening yeah. history forever now. <laughs> yeah, my like 18 chapters that I listened to. Um, the voice narrator, very talented to get the work, mm-hmm. but sometimes... When, because you know, when because it's just Tessa's point of view, yeah. and like any time Harden speaks, like especially for a female voice narrator, they oh, put yeah. on a deep, yeah. Ac- yeah. deep voice, whatever. Sometimes she would try and add a British accent, and sometimes she doesn't, and it was just very inconsistent, oh. and it was very, and it just put me off a lot. Yeah, because in the book he's British. Yeah, which yeah. makes sense, but yeah. there was never a strong British accent there, or like there'd be times where I could see she was trying to sound British, yeah. and I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't like this, yeah. and that was just really it. Yeah. Okay, Tessa is freshly 18. Um, her mum is a single mother because her dad is a deadbeat, whatever. She goes off to college. Um, she has a boyfriend, Noah, back at home, who's still a senior in college. What a cougar. Um, I'm pretty sure Noah is meant to be Niall. Noah, no. Um, oh, what's his name? I have a list. I wrote them down. Oh. <laughs> Nate is meant to be Niall. Yeah. So we got Nate, Zed, Landon, and Logan. Okay. And Harden. Landon plays a big part in the movie, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, cool. Noah is just your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, your boyfriend. <laughs> um, she has a boyfriend back home anyway. So she gets to her dorm in the movies. The roommate, what's her name? Steph. Steph, yep. Is a Lebian. Love that. Representation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love that. Doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> not, not, not in the book, though. No, not oh, in the book. I suppose it doesn't. Yeah, she they doesn't just gender add... swap the. Okay, they just. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like at times Tessa would have still thought Steph and Harden were fucking anyway. Yeah. But it's just the, gotcha, she's a lesbian, they yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Fair, fair. Um, so she goes off to college. Her roommate is a, like, edgy, punky, cool chick. And Tessa is a very girl next door, blonde hair, blue eyed, virginal girl, which is nothing wrong with it, but, like, of course she It's is. important, though. It's important. It's very important. Steph is like, come to this party. And Tessa's like, Fine. Anyway. And then that repeat for 600 pages. Exactly. I'm not going to reiterate what, like, the entire plot. <laughs> Every single point. Yeah. Um, there's also a big um, emphasis on the Bronte sisters as authors. Pride and Prejudice. Oh, yeah. Wuthering Heights was brought up a few Wuthering times. Wuthering Heights. Sorry. Just very um, classic literature. Because you obviously don't read classic literature. <laughs> <laughs> and Bring it back to that. That's the... How else... 
is the bad boy meant to have that like softness yeah. about him yeah. if he's a literature nerd as yeah. well jesus yeah. christ um it's like a very like big quote about uh i want to find it because it's beautiful but it should be in this <laughs> One aspect of this book that I did enjoy, and it's a common trope throughout media, is when they're in a classroom setting and the two love interests are arguing back and forth about a book or an analytical piece mm. and then out flows their actual feelings and everything towards each other. That's the only thing I liked about this yeah, book. I like and it happened that. almost twice. Well, yeah. it happened once and then it almost happened again, but then Tessa was like, I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah. Um, whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. <sighs> It's too eloquent to be in this shithole of a book. Um, All right. So the crux of this book Mm -hmm. is that Hard and Tessa fall in love. I don't Um, know how. (laughs) Beats um, me. But. Is the love in the room right now? Yeah. But the twist (laughs) is that Harden is doing this for a bet. Yeah. Which in the end, he does fall in love with her. But at the start, it's a bet that he makes with his friend. With Zed. With Zed. That he can make Tessa fall in love with him. I think it was just to take whoever could take her virginity. Oh, yeah, take her virginity. And then afterwards, he'll just like... See you later. Switch it off. See you later. It's a very, yeah, overused, I guess. Plot device. Plot device motivation. Yeah. Ha ha, it was a bet. Ha <laughs> ha, I don't really love you. But then I f- ended up having to fall in love with you. But I'm, And I'm sorry. And it's all... And I am 19. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I actually, yeah, I really hate those sorts of plot points. Yeah, just because yeah. I just think it's immature. It's very, I guess, emotionally damaging. Because mm. in, we learn, what we learn about Tessa is how that. how do you trust anyone else? Yeah, for sure. And we learn about Tessa that she was saving for marriage, which is her right. Yes. That's her, like, value, the sanctity value that she has on a virginity, very whatever. Very American. <laughs> but ultimately, she ended up giving it to Harden anyway, just because, you know, ultimately she wants wants to have sex for the first time yeah. with someone who she deeply loves and who he he deeply loves her back. Mm-hmm. Like, she wants that mm-hmm. scenario. Mm-hmm. Also, virginity is a social construct. It is a, very, it is a social, <laughs> strong, social construct, so it doesn't even yeah. matter. But I just hate, yeah, that it just becomes a ploy to uh, damage her sanctity and everything. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, how do you trust after that? Yeah. All right. They uh, omit this from the movie, which I'm very glad about, but I hope you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> what was your most favourite part of this? And by favourite, I mean what was the most fucked up part about this? Is it hard in the backstory? I don't know. No. no. I don't know. Was it the fact that he... Oh, I don't know if it, they took it out of the book. What happened? The fact... And I can't remember because I read it like on holiday. <laughs> the fact that he kept the sheets. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. that was in the book. Yeah. yeah, he kept the sheets and he kept a used condom, except it was the most recent time they had sex. Yeah. 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 They kept the sheets. That's fucking gross. Yeah. Yeah, the bloodied sheets. Okay, well, let me talk about sex for a second. Yeah, all right, all right let's go, Kenzie. Um, As someone who's had two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Uh, they were immaculate conceptions. <laughs> um, so, that's a person who had sex as a teenager. Um, <laughs> and the whole, like, popping of the cherry situation. If you have ever ridden a bike... If you have ever ridden a horse, if you have ever uh, bombed into a pool a little bit too hard, if you have done the splits, if you have sat down maybe a little bit too fast, your hymen is broken, okay? Boom, it gone. is not the first time that a male Pressure person, or, a person yeah. with a penis, there we go, a person with a penis inserts their penis into you, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Sometimes, maybe you still have your hymen intact. That's fine. You are not going to gush out blood, okay? You might bleed like a little bit, but it's not going to be a situation. It's not like a period blood stain, like yeah. overnight. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah, it's going to hurt a little bit because that's probably the first time that's happening, okay? Fine, but it's not a big thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> Passionate queen, keep going. <laughs> very passionate. When I had sex for the first time, my boyfriend at the time afterwards was like haha so i just popped your cherry oh idiot <laughs> disgusting and i was like haha yeah sure babe um but like i had ridden a bike i had yeah. ridden horses like i'm pretty sure it was fine okay and then the next person that i had sex with i just told him i was a virgin and guess what he didn't have any fucking idea that i wasn't <laughs> he bamboozled <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait is there any reason why you lied about the virginity part um he what? was religious okay <laughs> I might have to cut this out. No, it's fine. Um, it wasn't his first time, but it was very important that it was going to be my first time. 
So, so, I just you, lied to him. so you just like made him feel yeah. like a hero. And also because like with my first boyfriend, I, we only had sex like that one time, and it was probably like thirty seconds. Okay. And like there was no female pleasure in it. Like, okay. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. like wham bam, thank you, ma'am. And I was like, I'm not counting that. Like, <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. And it, yeah, it depends. Yeah. That sh- yeah, I, I like that though. Yeah. yeah. But the lying part, it's a bit yeah. skew, Kenzie. Yeah. Come I know. on. <laughs> you made him feel like a hero. Yeah. But also, yeah. So. If a guy is into that, you can just tell him you're a virgin and they're yeah. not going to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, speak, yeah, in media, I suppose, yeah. there is this big emphasis on portraying such a yeah, value yeah. and whether or not it's taken, how it's taken, who takes it, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I think I've spoken about this before, but any guy that says you have a tight vagina or like in the comments oh, they're going to tell that. you you have yeah. a tight pussy, um, that means that you are not turned on enough. So yeah. that means that they're not doing their job right. Sport. Especially in like the the romance books that we always read. Yeah. Like they're always like, oh, you're so tight. Oh, How you're am so I going to make it yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, Also, as a person who has had two babies. We've, you've said this before in yeah. some episode. Yeah. yeah. Um, that has no like context on like what happens to your vagina. Your vagina will go back to its natural glory. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. You've had and it no one will be, will be none the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. All good. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Just, <laughs> this is all well, stemming from Tessa. Well, when we're talking about virginity, like, do not hold on to it as like this Who really cares? important thing because it's not. No one gives a shit. Okay. But like, if it is like ultimately important to you and your life goal, and you want to again like yeah. sanctify that, then yeah. sure, go I ahead. I know people but... who are waiting till marriage, and I respect that. Like, good on you. Personally, I couldn't because I just couldn't. And you haven't. So it's and fine. I haven't, so <laughs> <laughs> it's all fine. Um. Yeah. But respect the hustle if that's your prerogative. That's yeah. fine. Oh, this is what I was going to say before. Yeah, I just hated the, the virginity aspect because, yeah, it's, it's taking something away from her. It's making her now distrust people around yeah. her. If te- take away the virginity aspect. If Tessa was a more promiscuous person, mm-hmm. perhaps, I. this is where the morality of me is skewed. It wouldn't seem as bad because it would just be another hookup. Although it yeah. would still be emotionally damaging, but, yeah. like, you've, you know, you could just hook yeah. up with anyone else. Like, yeah. I don't think it's as bad in comparison to taking something away that someone was valuing. Exactly. So. And also, yeah, if she had had sex before or whatever, it's like it would take away then the sheet situation. Sure. And then even like the condom thing. like That's gross and weird. It's gross and weird. And he could have just had a wank like into For a sure. condom. Yeah. yeah. Like how do you prove like that that's been in a vagina? <laughs> I like, never think of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he could have just had a wank. <laughs> a wank. What an Aussie word. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Which I love a wanker as a insult. As an insult because yeah. it's like everyone like, you fucking wanker. Yeah, you fucking wanker. Like yeah. Um, I feel like these days it's an underutilized insult. It really is. It really I think is. cunt has really overthrown because well, of the Americanization wankers, yeah. of it. And now it doesn't have like as the oof. No. Oh, like, wait, let's bring back wanker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wanker rights. <Yeah. laughs> I actually like saying tosser. A tosser's and, good. And like moron. That's what yeah. that's what Harden says so, so. Yeah, tosser because he's British and we stem from British, yeah. so it's fine. Well, I'm Scottish, so whatever that is. <laughs> you need to find out some Scottish, some Gaelic school. No, not Gaelic. Yeah, Gaelic, Gaelic Scottish. I think Gaelic. Gaelic. Yeah. You need to find some swear words. Yes, I'm getting very, my accent's getting there, so <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now, but I've been working on it. Okay, you're slowly appropriating your own breath place. Kizzy's had a lot of revelations this year already. <laughs> this financial year. <laughs> yeah, this financial year. Oh, just you wait, just you wait. Jesus. Okay, anyway. Um, back to the book that has no substance, book. no There's plot. There's also Molly, who like is lusting after Harden, and yep. like they've constantly hook up. Constantly I guess. hooking up. They fucked before, whatever. I understand. <laughs> She's getting riled up. <laughs> Calling myself out again. <laughs> <laughs> this book reflects your teenagehood. <laughs> respect. I respect the hustle of Molly. <laughs> Because, again, let me explain this. Because if I was Tessa, I would simply just be like, I understand that I have these feelings, but, like, I'm obviously not going to be able to give you what you want. Yeah. Like, just go fuck Molly. Yeah. In saying that, I have been Tessa. <laughs> I am Tessa. I am you fought for him. You fought for him. You, fought, you I have competed. Fought. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jesus. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Was he worth competing for? <sighs> At the time, yes. Okay. Um, we're still friends. Okay. <laughs> friends is a very loose term. <laughs> the odd pleasantries every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Um, he lives near me. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Um, sometimes if I'm running to him at the supermarket, I just run. <laughs> <laughs> hide. Yeah, hide. <laughs> Visceral reaction. 
Um, that's fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's when I said you can keep this in because it's hilarious. When I said if I had a dollar for everyone I'd run into the supermarket who'd seen my boobs, I'd have yeah. two dollars. So yeah, yeah, it was him. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. So if I was Tessa, I'd just be like, "Fuck this! Like, this is a lot." Uh, go do your thing. Like, yeah, go exactly. Go fuck Molly. Get it out of your system. Come back to me because also I have a boyfriend still. Like, yeah, yeah. This it has to change for the worst, man. Mm. A lying cheater. Mm. Like mm. I understand coming out of a strict household, I guess, where you yeah. are forced to put your grades first and you're not really allowed to let loose and party and be a little bit reckless or have yeah. a bit of a rebellious stage. Yeah. But yeah, this book really flipped her on her head yeah. when she's out here just actively cheating on Noah. Yeah. Like, that's just gross. And it kind of, again, I don't want to use the same word, but it kind of romanticizes that aspect of it because yeah. it's like, oh, well, like, but I'm falling in love with him and blah, blah, blah. And I think there is good arguments for both sides of this. And I hate that. And I've always said I hate that. Like, if you're in love with someone and you fall for someone else, you should pick the second person because if you really love the first person. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I bullshit. used to believe that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but, like, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, it does romanticize that. And I've said this as well to people and it's a very different context but like God, I, I think I can make it work so in terms of like sports NBA stars in okay. particular who go and fuck around like while they're on tour oh, yeah. I've always said to people in my life if I was in that situation I don't care what you do on the road just don't embarrass me or my family like and then when you come back that's fine we can play happy families but like whatever you do on the road doesn't come back to me damn jeez yeah well <laughs> well like if you're gonna get your dick wet Go ahead, but like I don't want to know about it. Okay, yeah. ignorance is bliss, yeah. almost. Yeah, and we can play happy families. But then, as the the spouse, you would hold it against them for the rest of their life. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll have a Cartier ring. I'll have some bags. I have my uh, uh, Christian Louboutins. Um, <laughs> You'll have your your Teslas. Yeah, my Teslas. <laughs> your pink Jeep Range Rover or whatever <laughs> the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this is the thing I think with Tesla as well. Like, if you're gonna do it. Just do it. Like, mm. why is, you didn't have you could have just like overcome your inner turmoil and just like don't tell Noah about it, okay? Like he's gonna figure it out eventually. Like, Potentially, yeah. but then like Harden is the one that uses it against her, even though he's been actively pursuing her as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just don't understand Harden as a character. Like, I know he's meant to be Harry Styles in the grand scheme of things, yeah. and like, of course, you do anything to, to love and have Harry Styles love you. Like, he just does not seem charming as a character. Like, there's nothing appealing about him. No. Again, because he's a pussy, whiny baby. Yeah. He just shouts and has a cry mm. and then he just apologizes with no meaning and then yeah. Tessa just keeps going back and forth and yeah. yeah it's like a strong foundation setting for an abusive toxic relationship yeah and I just hated that aspect of this book all the time it's just repetitive yeah and this book has no reason to be 600 fucking pages oh, like no like and all of them are so long I feel like it got like I was reading and I was keeping track of how far yeah. I've gone and like they'd yeah. gone through so much um, and it was only like 30% and they've like cried and gone back and forth with yeah. each other like five times. And it's like, bro, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure there's five books and then I think there's a Hard and Pop as well. Which <sighs> Fifty Shades of Grey did as well. Okay. So, All right. and now Twilight. I but like, if I read Fifty Shades of Grey, yeah. I suppose I wasn't that deep yeah. into Twilight either. Yeah. But like, I don't also, think I could recognize yeah, Twilight. all really stupid names. Like, it's like... Um, I know it's like After We Fall yeah. and After... After After We Collided, After We Fell, After Ever Happy... <laughs> And after like, ever after. Yeah, yeah. And oh. then after everything. Again, and it's hard. Get your bag. I respect that. Yeah. And also, I, my cousins and I like love these films and we watch them, but I always get confused which order they're in because they're all the fucking same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm aware we're on a time crunch, so I want to like talk about that, the, like, the book <laughs> story as a whole. Yeah, it's okay. Um, okay, so at the end of the day, if you take Harry Styles out of this, if you take One Direction out of it, it's it a shit book. It's a shit book. If you want to read it, go ahead. Cautionary tale for abusive relationships. Anna Todd has her bag, so you don't really need to contribute to that anymore. So, <laughs> yeah. um, don't recommend. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, we, we, we still, I think we can still, like, ramble for, like, another 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, but I'm talking about the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, for Claire. Okay. For Claire. Okay. So, Harden's backstory. Yes. We know his mother was sexually assaulted. Yeah. And his father was an alcoholic. And he abandoned them. And he abandoned them. Okay. Tessa's father also abandoned them. Although, in a way, Harden's father is then engaged and or now married to Landon. Uh, interesting you say that because that is not Harden's father. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so then... Um, so have I read it wrong or is no, no, this no, like a, find out a plot? Okay. Yeah, it's a plot. So then um, Harden's mother 
gets is getting married, so they go back to England or whatever. Tessa has been working for Vance Publishing. Yep. Um, you then find out that Christian Vance is Harden's father. Oh. On the eve oh. of the wedding, his mum and Christian sleep together again, and Harden walks in on it. Oh, fun. And she's just like, rah, 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 rah. anyway, and then she gets married and is happy. Fun okay. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Tessa finds out that she potentially cannot have children. Okay. That's a big plot. She has miscarriages. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Tessa's father dies of a drug overdose. He comes back, then dies of a drug overdose. Okay. Um, then... Is this the entirety of the series? Or just... Yeah. Okay. Sorry um, for anyone else, but... Yeah, sorry, spoilers. I, who cares? <laughs> Tessa and Harden break up for an extended amount a of A million time. time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come back together, do it again, and then in the end they get married and have two kids. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Save your money, folks. Just listen yeah, to this yeah. recap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll make this a TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's God. also a Trevor who's played by Dylan. I, I know the Trevor thing because Walking the tre- Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Um, very funny. I was rooting for him the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and he's played, yeah, played by Dylan Sprouse. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I just don't understand the appeal of the constant back and forth and arguing between Tessa yeah. and Harden. It's just very immature and yeah. unappealing. And I understand, yeah. again, both of them are deeply traumatized yeah. in uh, their own the, respective ways. But... I would have left a long time ago, but the first time he throws um, a glass bottle against the wall, I'm out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> then that, if you can throw a glass bottle at you, what, what's he going to do next? Yeah. It's going to cross the line. Yeah. Also, um, there's a huge statistic. I don't think it happened in the book, but like as soon as a person puts their hands around your neck in a fight the statistic of them killing you goes up exponentially yeah yeah i think yeah. i saw something similar about that yeah yeah okay shall we go to the stars <laughs> <laughs> i thought we had a little bit more to go you're really pumping this out i know we're on a time crunch yeah. but that's okay yeah. we can still dawdle for a little bit okay. um watch going the last movie okay because it's good okay if you're gonna watch any of them watch the last one <laughs> because it's hard it's Harden going to spain and he's on like a self-healing journey <gasps> And it's great. It's great. And, because, and he goes and because there was a girl who did this. He did it too before Tessa. Yeah. What? But he recorded them having sexual relations and then to show his friends. But then his friend, because it was a bed, he's like, I bet I can get it. Oh, fucking me. hell. Yeah. But then his friend sent it around oh, okay. from his phone. But anyway, but still he recorded it like to show it's his friends. He's still a shit guy. Yeah. Shit yeah. cunt. So he Jeez. goes to Spain, finds her, does his whole like healing journey, apologetic journey, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes back and like proposes to Tessa. Anyway, oh but it's a, very good, it's a very good film. That was a good one because he gets beaten the fuck up. As, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, sorry. Good. No, that's okay. God damn. What the fuck is <laughs> with this? Nothing appealing about Harden. Yeah, Tessa, like, you don't want to victimize or victim blame, but, yeah. like, you just constantly gone back and forth. Mm-hmm. She showed no push and shove although she did like push and shove him a couple times but it's warranted yeah and like he's just always outwardly mean to her and cruel and then he turns it on with the lovey-dovey stuff and it's like bro yeah yeah i liked zed i, th- I was rooting yeah. for him as well yeah. i'm like well yeah he's a nice decent guy yeah like, in the books he's fuck? great yeah maybe not so great but yeah um and then the other characters i couldn't really care about it oh i was gonna say before Going from your recap, it sounds like a lot of side characters are going through tur- turmoils, which is what pushes our main characters into situations, mm-hmm. rather than these two actually having goals and ambitions in their life. Yeah. <laughs> it's everyone around them yeah. that's And also everything is affecting them. to them, because Tessa gets the job in publishing because Harden's dad, Harden's dad knows Christian Vance, and obviously Christian Vance is Harden's father. Yeah, and then the he nepotism also, of it yeah, all. And then he also like offers Harden a job as well. And so there's no actually, yeah, like fight or ladder climbing to get to their careers. It's just yeah, like, no. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's, it's Harry Styles and his connections. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think in this book, yeah, it's, uh, they said that Harden worked at Vance for a little while and then he left. Mm. But then now he has this unknown, like literary work from home type of job. Yeah. He, he writes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He writes and he edits. Yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah. yeah. I'm just an idiot. Yeah. Um, also, it, again, these are college students yeah, like, yeah and they're being given like these adult bit entry-level jobs but still like you have completed your course entry-level jobs <laughs> yeah yeah you knew where i was going when he is a secret literary buff and stuff as well yeah. it's like he needed that soft sort of feminine-esque type of trait about him mm. um under all the tough skin and everything and all the trauma like he's just a soft boy at heart and <laughs> it's great but it's harry styles so it doesn't matter yes yeah God damn. All right, we can go to the stars that listen now. Yeah, I, yeah honestly, 
no substance, no flesh, just arguing and crying and swearing and fucking soft porn, soft porn, all yeah. that good good stuff, I guess. Anyway, if stars that listen is a segment on this podcast where we read a one star review and a five star review from Goodreads or a few of them. Um, we start with the one star first because they're pretty gnarly, and the five stars end on a positive note anyway. So that's our goal. Okay. Do you want me something like one you can stars? go. You can go first. This shit is becoming a movie. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, so this was not fucking great. However, there was this page where the two eyes lined up and I did a little drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I Quality. Love that. that adds value to it. Yeah. All right. My one star review, now that you've took mine, I guess. But there, there was more from that one though. Like oh, yeah. pressed more. But I didn't see them all. Oh, well. That's okay. Uh, my one star review. It's okay to cheat on someone if you lose interest in them. It's okay to choose an abusive, toxic relationship over a real and healthy one. It's okay to slut shame anyone whenever you feel like it. Lesson learnt. <laughs> yeah. Praise. Praise. <laughs> yeah. You have a five star? I have two five stars. All right, go ahead. Very toxic and unhealthy. I loved the shit out of it. Oh, my God. I'm okay. worried for that person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then if you've never been on a roller coaster before, this book will fix it. I have read this book three times and I'm not tired of the relationship between Tessa and Harden. It's constantly changing and you don't even have to get bored. Two fools. Oh God. Bro, I got to 30% and I was like, I reckon I you could skip. You should stay in there. I, I, yeah, I was fine through, but I was like, if I could, I could probably skip to like the 70% mark and I could probably still know what's going yeah, on. I would respect it if you didn't because yeah. I can just give you the rundown. I was so close. <laughs> but yeah, no, my five star review. This book is an emotional roller coaster, but even reading it for the second time, I enjoyed every single page. What can I say? I'm after trash. Trash for the trash. Alrighty, my second five star review. It is a super incredible love story. A bit tragic, but that's why I loved it so much. The characters are the opposite, and even so, they love each other. It is like the phrase, opposite signs dare, and of course, this book and the other books are true. They make it clear the series of books are incredible. Okay. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt to read. <laughs> Sorry. Still better than this book. Mm. <gasps> this, this book truly rotted my brain. Yes. Like, I couldn't do it, yes. but I had to force it out. <laughs> I'm hoping, because I have not loved this book. I have not loved Resense Pov. I'm yep. hoping Manacled... I've heard good things about I've Manacled. Heard, I've heard good things. I've seen good That's things. That's why it's so popular. Yeah. Yes. We're just going to have a month of failure. <laughs> Every book this month we probably hated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except for Manacled, hopefully. That's okay. Uh, but Anna Todd, get your bag. Respect it. I re- again, respect the perspective as a fanfic viewer because, yeah, you want to fix Harry Styles. You want the toxicity romance with Harry Styles, yeah. and I respect that. At the end of the day, everybody, let's remember that we can't fix them until they fix themselves. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, they fix us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for listening. Um, Harry Styles, don't come for us. <laughs> we <laughs> Please. love you. <laughs> we love you. Uh, check us out next week for Resand Point of View if you are an Akatar fan, if you're just there for a bit of curiosity. Please pop along and have a listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, enjoy the rest of Fanfic February where hopefully we're not as miserable by the end. <laughs> we do this to ourselves. Yes. Goodbye. Alrighty. Bye.